Proverbs 12, 15 says, The way of a fool is right in his own eyes, but a wise man listens to advice. Proverbs 12, 15. The way of a fool is right in their own eyes. They are always going to believe that that which they have come to the conclusion to and have presumed is the right way. And they are not willing to allow their views, their perceptions, or opinions to be combated by other external views. They are always going to reside in what in that which they deem as right and correct, and they will not listen to reproof. And this is a very dangerous road because if we hold on to opinions that can never be challenged, how can we know that that which we believe is in fact true? We need to be open for good dialogue and discussion. We need to be open to hearing other viewpoints and beliefs and perceptions. And when we are not doing that, we are falling into a state by which we are putting ourselves on a pedestal and we begin to harden our hearts not only to truth of what could be, but we begin to harden our hearts to other people and then our perceptions of other people simply because they may believe differently or have come to different conclusions. We then begin to idolize ourselves, place ourselves above them, and we begin to look down upon them and begin to criticize and ridicule them. And that is not at all the way in which we should go. And that is why the wise, they are willing to listen to advice. We know elsewhere in Proverbs it speaks on uh, those who have, you know, basically, I, I'm paraphrasing and putting in, in uh, modern day words, but those who have a board or a council of other people that, who have advisors, they're not going to be easily led astray because they are able to take that which they deem is right. They can take it to those who have gone before them, who have more wisdom and experience, and they will listen and learn to what those other people have to say. Because we cannot expect to grow, first and foremost, if we are not spending time with God and in his word. And when we are born again and have believed Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior and repented of our sins, we are able to have access to him who is wisdom, who was there before the foundations of the world, and is the one who merely spoke out that which we now deem and see is reality. But a wise man is willing to listen to advice. This advice can come through the word of God. It can come through those who are older than us. It can come through uh, those who might be mentors to us or, or godly family members. And a wise man will always listen to advice, and a wise man will also listen to other viewpoints because other viewpoints can help to uh, have us see things that we may have not seen before. It may help to strengthen our already established uh, belief uh, simply because we're taking time to hear what someone else says, but if it's not making sense based upon what truth is, then our view is strengthened because we now know how to respond to those type of people. A wise man is willing to listen to advice and listen in regards to whoever they are. They will listen before they speak. And we know that even a fool is deemed wise if they keep quiet. And that is why we must practice. We must be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry. Because it is through listening that we gain wisdom, we're able to strengthen our views, we can understand where people are coming from, but nonetheless, that doesn't mean we bend our knee to falsity. We still remain on the bedrock of truth, which is the word of God, but we are also able to listen and hear advice because a wise person will always hear wisdom from other wise people. So may we not be as the fool and just merely deem our way to be the right way, but may we be as the wise and be willing to listen to advice, listen to rebuke, listen to constructive counsel. And in so doing, this will help lead us within our lives and help us to grow closer to God, to walk more wisely, and to have greater understanding behind certain things that we not only believe, but also that which we deem is reality and what's occurring around us. Because Wisdom, first and foremost, comes from God, but if we are willing to listen, God can speak through those who are wise and which he has gifted with the gift of wisdom.